Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a globe house here in Minecraft. Now, when I mean globe house, I mean a full-size scale version of a globe, not that is not just a block, as I'm about to um, show you here now, guys. But, um, it's pretty simple on how to make a globe, alright, I'm not going to be showing you how to make this. But it's like the easiest thing in the world. So, unfortunately, my Minecraft is about to crash anyway. So, and so, anyway, I think I should have restarted my Minecraft before we even played this thing. So yeah, um, that is what a normal globe looks like, guys. I will not show you how to make that. I'm going to show you how to make a lot bigger version. So anyway, before I actually get started on my tutorial, please do not forget, please um, don't forget to um, like me on Twitter, or actually follow me on Twitter, technically, and don't forget to subscribe to me for incredibly more videos every day. Incredibly awesome. It is what that incredibly videos means. Anyway, <clears throat> so, Enough with that, let's actually get started on the um, tutorial here. So, if you want to make yours, here is what you're going to need. Grab yourself some cyan hardened clay, and some blue wool, and some lime wool, some yellow wool, and, um, well, you can't use cyan wool if you want. I can go ahead and go use for cyan, but... <clears throat> <clears throat> so I guess my throat is technically clogged up right now, so deal with that for a little bit. Or you can even use light blue. Yeah, that'll be a greater idea. But for right now, let's just stick with sun. That's what we need to use. Anyway, so once you've got your placement set up, I'm going to set it up right here. I'm going to do 11 cyan hot and clay on the ground. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, right there, all right. Then we're going to do four up red diagonals, looking this way. So that's one, two, three, four. We want to go up by 10, um, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to do four up left diagonals, like this. Go up by 10, one, two, um, let's see here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then we're going to do 4 bottom left, di bottom left diagonals. We go down by 10. And then to do some bottom right diagonals until you get until you get to your connected point. So you should have something that should look like this. Alright. That looks good. Alright. What we then want to do is we want to do one row above and one row inwards in relationship to the first layer that we just did. We want to have another row of sun on clay. One specifically what I just said. So. Alright. So. <clears throat> anyway, uh, we are going to do, um, Three rounds of this. I'll use two more after this, and then we're going to add a layer of cyan heart and clay directly on top after the third layer, and well, you can tell what I'm about to do afterwards. So, um, um, let's see here. Unfortunately, I am running on half of a frame per second, guys. I am not joking. I mean, this computer is. It's not the best gaming computer I've ever had, guys, so that is why you're seeing a little bit of lagginess there. Alright, we're going to add two more rows, exactly what I just said when we first started. Um, after we made the frame of the globe. Um, so technically right now we are making the base of the globe. We will not make the, um, the... We will, um, stay away from the... Uh, more important part until we get the face done. 
But the base is the most important thing right now. So. Alright. And that's prior to us making the globe. If you guys want to know furthermore. Alright. So. Alright, so you should have something that should look like this. That is two rows done. Let's do one more. And we're going to be done for a little bit. On, um, well, the uh, one row higher and the one row inwards thing. We'll be done with that for just a, a little bit. But we will have to do it again. So, trust me. I mean, this globe is supposed to be a big globe, guys. So, it's not those um, size globes that I just showed you in the um, beginning of the video. It will not be that size. It will be a lot more ginormous. That's what I'm trying to do here. So. Anyway, that is your um, base after you do the three rows of um, sign hard clay going one row higher or one row inwards. So, anyway, that's that tank care. The next thing we want to do is that we want to add one row of, or I should say, add a layer of silent hard clay, making sure that you add the silent hard clay to um, here to make it more um, like, like to make it a little bit more even for us is what I'm trying to tell you guys. Yep, I got one of the crappiest computers in history. Now at that time, I just ran at exactly. Um, point three. I know I run that almost every day. Whatever that happens here. Fortunately, um, well, I should say, unfortunately, the reason I'm experiencing this lag in this guys is because um, I killed uh, my game graphics card, and you can tell from there. <laughs> Just I exactly killed it. That's all I'm telling you guys. So. Actually, we don't need that. We do not. Alright guys, so that is pretty much your um, globe base, pretty much complete. But, make it look a little bit more neater, is that you can cut the corners out from the square that we just made. We can make it more of a circle shape, like, um, let's see here, let's get rid of this to make sure. Alright, we can make it a little bit more of a circle shape. But, I'm not sure if that's going to help any. Anyway, so the next thing you want to do is that you just want to fill it in with um, sign hard clay. Fill in this shape at the very top in with sign hard clay. And then we can actually start working on the globe here, guys. Then that time, we can actually start working on the globe. So. So, you should have something that should look like this, right now. The next thing you want to do here, guys, is... <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyway, uh, the next thing you want to do is that you want to pinpoint the middle of your globe. So, count inwards by 5 from either side, and that is uh, exactly your... You should count inwards by six, I meant. This is a little bit bigger than my original uh, prototype there, so. Well, alright, so. This is your so six. And the other side, that is six. So. Anyway, on the original um, design here, guys, I actually had, um, my original design, I actually have, like, had somewhere very similar to this. But, uh, we'll just stick with that for right now. And then, maybe we can do some extra things. Hopefully not, but... Anyway, um, that is good for right now. 
Alright, so we just pinpoint the middle, guys. That is awesome, so. So I'll go with my original design, right? It's not exactly perfect in the center, but it's somewhere around there, so that's what counts. Anyway, so the next thing you want to do is that you want to add five layers of cyanpine clay directly on top of here. So that's one, two, three, four, and that'll be five. Like this, alright? The next thing that we want to do is that we want to make the actual um, the glow part itself. So, starting from each from each side of the square, like for example, right here, I'm going to start right here, we want to do six up left diagonals, if we're looking this way, so that is um, one, and that'll be two, three, four, and that'll be five, like this, so. We're going to do that for each one of the other um, parts of the globe here, guys. Watch out, my hands are itchy, so. so that's one, two, um, three, four, five, and that was six. Hmm, let's figure out why is this a little bit top. Alright, step out. Okay, um, this best explains why. <laughs> I've actually added um, five layers instead of six layers, so. I shouldn't have been done there. I said six, not five, so. Alright, we're just going to um, do this for every single side, and then I'll tell you what we're going to do here next, guys. So, that is tres, cuatro, and uh, that'll be a single, uh, like that. Alright, and then we are going to, um, well, actually I'm going to do it in Japanese. Um, I do believe I do know Japanese here. Um, so, that's ichi, means one. Alright, um, this will be ni, equals two. Sun, three, she, that is, um, four, and this will be, um, go, which is five. Now, I didn't think I said that in, um, exactly in the Japanese fashion, but it's kind of, like, close enough there. So, um, and we do have the same problem here, guys. So that's, uh, six. So that's, um, ichi ni... Sun, she, go, and I don't really know what six is. I think it's Roku, but I don't know. You, um, you're going to have to let me know in the comments down below if I said any of those Japanese numbers wrong, or or I didn't say the correct um, Japanese number or something like that. I don't know. I got it from the internet, so it's not exactly true if it's not. So anyway, we just want to connect the entire globe together at the top with our sign of wool. So it wants to be somewhat similar to um like this. Alright. Okay, like that. So that is really the beginning of your globe there, guys, so I said, it's not exactly supposed to be in a little fashion for a little bit, but it will be in a little bit when we actually get this thing rolling together. So, we're just going to do diagonals all the way around. So, this will to connect everything with your sign wall. This may take a little while because honestly, there's some huge spaces. So, so, um, exactly, guys, just try your best to actually get this done correctly. Yes, it is a little bit tricky to actually get this, uh, work in here, guys. So, anyway, um, I'll be back in a moment once I get that taken care of. I will be back in just one moment. 
Alright guys, so, um, I just recently just got this taken care of. So, um, your thing should look like this. As I had to, um, you may have noticed that I did the other thing there, but... Apparently, I said, gosh, this is, like, too crazy. So, I decided to make it like this. I also cut it off the corners to make it more appear like a circle. And if you do look at it from the bottom, that's like the um, southern hemisphere, what you are looking at now. So, anyway, the next thing we want to do is, um, so based on how much we have here, we need to make the northern hemisphere. And that will consist of um, six layers of cyan wool, alright? So, six layers. That's one, two, three, four, five, and that'll be six. There we go. So, how this is going to work here, guys, is that to complete uh, the actual globe itself before we actually work on the land part, um, what we're going to do is we are going to add our rows of cyan wool. Alright. So each one of these things will be at least one block higher. Alright, um in the style of this fashion here, so, so I am working on the second one, so hopefully it can get to the sixth layer, alright? As it is starting to get <clears throat> a little bit, it will get thinner, so let's pray to God that hopefully this um, will actually get to the sixth layer. So, anyway, we want to add six layers of cyan wool going one row above and one row inwards in relationship to the previous row. So, um, that's the third one. Alright, um, it's kind of looking weird here, so it will start to get a little bit better here, hopefully. So working on the fourth row here. Um, next up, fifth row. And finally, the sixth row. There we go, guys. Uh, that is your um globe, pretty much um well done exactly. But I can do see here um it's not exactly a perfect globe here, guys. Just um do take notice of that. Maybe um an idea of what I just had in mind when I was um actually working on this is maybe we can make like this area kind of flatter so um, that way it doesn't look like Saturn or anything like that so I can kind of look better I know this thing can get a whole lot better from here it's just not exactly going to work out well and all oh, dang it it's uh, thundering now So, um, I guess it's going to work out like uh, this here, guys. Oh, hello. Did you know you're making a video? Yes, Noah, I'm making a video. Alright. Anyway, so... That's the only thing I had in mind here, to actually make this less of a pyramid looking thing here, so I could just um, go ahead. But yeah, this is like uh, the only thing I had in mind. I did also want to say that um, making a globe here is actually a little bit of a challenge because 
plug. Yeah, trying to make one. Don't think it was a black ever. Right? Dude, put some consonants on it. I am. Here, dude. I know how to do it. Um, uh, no, it don't take it over. I know. Uh oh. Uh, how about let's make an upgraded version? Um, next when I come back. Cause I have to make an upgraded version. Cause you did You're not really making the finished yet, the way you did it. All right. Hand away. So, what we could do here now, guys, is we could just like knock out, like for example, uh, this rope here, and then we can replace it with lime wool. All right, this can represent some land. Um, for example, um, this side of the world we can have like Asia. We all know that Asia is big. So, we're going to try to make the big land mass here. Um, like, somewhere like this, guys, alright? Like that. That looks good, right? Um, we can have that one side. Um, on this side we can have, like, the Americas, right here. And we can have like one area connected right here because we know that Russia um, connects to America. So, anyway, guys, um, give me one moment here. Let me just get top of the downfall on, like, get rid of all this lightning that is driving people nuts here. Driving me nuts, particularly. And then on this side, we can have Europe, which uh, we do know that Europe is big. Actually, um, hmm, huh. um, yeah, we can actually have Europe, um, here, guys, so, this could be Europe, alright, this little bit here will be, um, uh, Europe, alright, it's a little bigger than the Americas, because of how much countries there are, and then, like, we can have this little area right here, that could be uh, Russia back here, because Russia is indeed part of Europe and Asia. And then over here, we could take out our yellow hole, and we can dig this down, and that could represent Africa, because Africa has a lot of deserts, obviously. There is a little bit of land as well, guys. Just do keep in mind that it is not just primarily deserts. There was a little bit of land as well. And most of that is actually of the southern part of Africa. As I can do see right now. Um, I do have a map in my room. So that is why I can help. Yeah, here. Well, if you want to try to get people to represent... If you want to get people to know what each continent is, you could just use a little bit of this. Oh, and a little bit here. Um, you can knock this area out. This could be Australia, like that. Uh, that could be Asia over here in the green. This is Oceania. Like that. Over here, um, it could be America. Or North America. Down here will be, like, where South America is located, guys. So, this is Mexico here, or... At least, like, where Central America is. Well, I technically call part of South, um... Central America is what I like to call part of North America. So, and then here we can just have, like, um, two rows of green. And we can have one row of yellow. Like that. And then, um, here, this could be South America. Just make sure we spelt that correctly good. Over here could be, um, Europe. And right here could be Africa. And we could call this part here Russia. Although Russia is not technically a continent, um, it links Europe to Asia. So it's Turkey. 
So, we would all like to say some prayers to Turkey, as they had a lot of accidents going on over there that I technically do not like. None of these accidents happen in Turkey, as many well likes. So that's why I'm saying prayers. Hopefully, they can stop the corruption over there and the terrorist attacks and stuff like that. So. Anyway, Turkey's actually a pretty um, nice country to actually visit. They got a lot of good old tourist destinations over there. Anyway, guys, so that is pretty much our globe complete once you got to this stage. Although, uh, we can actually just like cut it up a little bit. I'll make it less of a box shape. We can have it more of looking like a. <clears throat> And maybe at the top here, we could just like fill it in with. Oh! <laughs> We're actually not done. We could just take some white wool and. Uh, these carb could be like the poles here. That's the North Pole. And around here could be like the South Pole, guys. So. I just recognized that. I just recognized we need to do that first. Oral is not Earth, because Earth cannot be an Earth without the poles. Right? So. Alright. That's pretty much your, um, planting? Or, your. That's pretty much your globe taken care of, guys. Now, what we can do is we can have some ladders. Um, some ladders, so, um, chests. Maybe a couple torches, some crafting tables, furnaces, juke boxes, um, chapman tables maybe, some bookshelves, and of course a bed. I mean, uh, oh god, I just grabbed an end portal. I do not want an end portal right now. I mean, what are you even doing that for? And the next thing we can grab afterwards is for some painting. So. We're just going to run up some bladders here, and maybe we can enter view it here, alright? So. Alright. This is like where the entrance is going to be. We can, um, we can then light up this place with a little bit of torches, as it does sound good, like, um, this. Next thing we can do is that we can have like a chest area right here. Two double chests will work. Then we can have a crafting table here, a furnace here. We can actually have two furnaces in case one breaks. We can have a jukebox or like the entertainment area back here. We can have um like an enchantment table, two rows of bookshelves like that. That could be like the entertainment area. And um we can have a bed right here, obviously. Like that, right? So, that is pretty much that, right? Something else you could do, um, you can actually replace one of the chests with an ender chest if you really do want so choose. So, <clears throat> you could just grab an ender chest. We could place two of them right here, okay? We can get rid of that. Next thing is that we can grab some paintings, which I would say it would go good. And maybe we can grab flower pots, some oxide daisies, I think that'll sound good. So if we can grab a painting, we could put it directly above the bed. I actually want a, yeah, that, that looks good. All right. And then maybe over here we can have like a piece of silent wool. With a flower pot on top, the oxide daisy in it. That would kind of look cool, guys. And I guess that's pretty much what I have got for the interior of this um, globe. But anyway, guys, that is your globe 100% fully completed. Hopefully, you like this. You don't have to add the signs if you don't want to, but all I recommend it in case if it gets confusing. Anyway, so that is it guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for incredible awesome videos every day. Like this video, let me know in the comments down below what other ideas should I have, and follow me on Twitter. Thanks for watching, see you guys next time.